Hello and welcome to day 27 now of the 64 million artist January challenge and today is called you learn something new every day find a way to learn something new today so what I'm going to do today is show you a book that I've been reading a lot uh, it's called pastel innovations by Dawn Emerson and it's a lot of printing techniques using pastels over those printing techniques um, and every now and again I dip into the book and try and find something new to do with my art so let's have a look at one of those pages today. So here's the book, um, and I want to try some mono printing today using um, some greaseproof paper, an image, and and some ink, some uh, water-based oil ink. So I've read everything in the book, um, and this is a technique I've been wanting to try for a while, just to see if it will add anything to. The work I do. Um, you can see there the um, the tracing being taken off the print that's been done and then what uh, Dawn usually does is capes a print of the other side of her her work so she has one nice copy uh, and then the reverse trace monotype as well. So let's have a look at the kit that we're using today. <coughs> so on my drawing board I have a, a big roller. I have some water-based ink. Now I've got some burnt umber and I've got some black. I think I'm going to go with the burnt umber. Um, because it's a test piece I've got a small picture of a dog that I've printed off from the internet. A uh, piece of greaseproof paper and a tin lid with some cling film on it that I will mix the ink up on. Probably not the best but actually the effect I want to achieve is a bit more random than a proper print so um, it will be good for the purposes I want today. I've also got a half a chopstick, which I might use to scribble into the work, a pencil, uh, and obviously my drawing pad. So first things first, let's mix up some paint uh, in my tin. Gosh, that's quite shiny, isn't it? Um, so let's put some ink out. And then I'm gonna use my roller to Uh, <laughs> an inky mess as it were um, and I think what will happen is the texture of the um, cling film will come out on the roller so that seems quite sticky and well spaced out now so now I'm going to take some ink Using my piece of greaseproof paper, I'm going to start to ink it up like a piece of uh, carbon paper. And already you can see some really nice um, lines and things happening on this piece of paper. Exactly what I thought might happen. I think this is going to make quite a nice print. Picked up my sheet of greaseproof paper, it's a little bit on the page, but I'm not too worried about that. And now I'm going to simply turn it over onto my sketch pad, put it onto the surface of the paper, use a piece of masking tape to hold it still. Take my picture of my dog and start by using the pencil to make the image trace through. And I'm going to Shade in and I can't tell what this is going to look like which is kind of for me kind of exciting in a way there's another bit of tail there I think that's what that is um, another bit of ear in there and I'm just going over the dark bits of the dog at this point there we go uh, 
continuing down the dog's legs. Uh, there's a collar here I want to put in. And then the back of the dog's body. Back legs there. The front paw which is running towards us and it's kind of shaped really lovely. It goes up into that bit there. And again down the leg. And I'm going to put the foot in quite loosely. Put some of these lines in like so and then very gently I'm going to rub in the shadow that I can see and then again just lightly this time going over the dog's shaded, shaded area shadow area shaded area one of the two <clears throat> and then just to finish the piece of work off maybe a nice, a, a nice border around it although that doesn't look quite like a nice border <laughs> but, uh, make like a double line just to not tidy it up but make it look a bit more intentional as being a bit wonky Now, do need to do the eyes. I think the bit of paper's moved, but not too worry about that. Some bit, some dark in the face, the nose. I'm gonna put that in. The mouth. This wonderful tongue coming out that's full of shadow. Some teeth in there. I think again just a gentle bit of shadow around that bit <clears throat> and I think that's it all we need to do so I'm going to lift off my transfer and now I'm going to pull back my ink see what I'm left with cool I've got this wonderful dog shape coming in there's all these lovely line bits of line work that's happening from the piece of grease with paper I'm happy with that uh, but what I'm also going to do is try and get a print from here. Now I'm going to use the back of a spoon to very carefully just rub over the image. Again, I'm hoping the grease proof paper is going to provide me with some, some lovely line work in here. If you had a printing press this would work so much better. But I don't have one of them so the back of a spoon, very nice to use. I think I can see the, the ink is slowly penetrating the paper. Oops. Quick look at that. Okay, need to go in here a bit harder, I think. Just gentle circular movements there, just to get the ink off the greaseproof paper. look I think it's coming out there's lots of work to do down here to get that ink off the paper See, there's not much ink or pattern left on the 
greaseproof paper, so I think that's as good as we're going to get. <clears throat> and I've got two images now. I've got a, a negative image there, which we did the line work on, and I've got a nice positive image there of the print of the plate that's been created. And what I think I'll try and do now is add a little bit of pasta work, this thing that Dawn Emerson does. Um, let's see if we can find some white pasta. Here we go. I'm just going to very gently bring out some of the whites in this dog using my pastel so that's there we've got some lovely darks over here which I'm just gonna highlight with my my pastel. Don't want to get rid of too much, so I'm just going to gently dust it over that a bit, and then I've got a white pastel here. I'm just going to put the the nose of the dog in. No, oh, there we go. That's better. teeth are white at the front here. Trying carefully not to lift this wonderful ink work. I think we're getting, getting what I wanted. I'm just going to put some more white down this leg. Um, obviously this image is the reverse so anything that was dark over this side is now light over this side so we could try and bring the dog out in a different way <coughs> down this side uh, again anything that was light I'm gonna anything that was dark on that side I'm gonna make light this side so there's that ear face, nose is all dark, and we've got a, a white tail here, and a nice ear, I'm going to put that ear in because that was lovely, there we go, some nice sort of marks with the pastel in there, and then the side of the face which was dark again on the image, but light here. And I'm just going to add the white line of the leg just to give it a bit of form in there. Uh, I think it's still showing reading as a dog, which is nice. into this as well just to make sense of it since it seems a bit there we go um should we add some more brown here what i'm going to do i'm going to add the brown into the shadow on this side There we go. So there you have it, using a new technique today, using greaseproof paper and some oil paint uh, and creating an image um, and adding some pastel on top just to give it a bit more definition. Quite enjoyed that. I can see I could use that in, in various ways. Maybe when I'm urban sketching, that might be a nice technique to use. Taking a piece of greaseproof paper already oiled up. I can see that being a bit messy as well. But it might be an idea I can try. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed that. Give it a go. It was good fun. Uh, and I'll see you next time.